Hello everyone. Welcome to African Northern Movies, latest Nigerian movies. Oh, she's fine. She's she's alright, she's stable now. Okay. Well the doctors insisted that she be admitted for one day at least so that they can, you know, observe her. You know, but aside that, uh, nothing to worry about. She'll be fine. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Let me just um, run Fresh up. Up. Fresh up. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. Hey Vivian, I'm glad to see you back on your feet again. Oh, uh, thanks. I'm glad to be on my feet too. I... I believe you must be. Yes, sir. Uh, I came to thank you for coming to my rescue because mommy said it was the right thing to do. <sighs> Seriously, Vivian, you don't have to thank me if you don't feel like it. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, why should I still have to thank you when your little act of courage of saving my life has made you so famous and endeared you into the heart of everyone? Yeah. Why indeed? All right then. Since we understand each other so well, I believe I should run along. I'm sure my mom and other will be waiting for me so we can be on our way. Run along all by all means. And Vivian. You're all right, you know. I'll miss you. 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 Mm. All right, darling. Right. Do it back Take carefully. Care, All right, darling. Okay. Mm. Take mm. Care. Bye, Grandma. Bye, darling. Mm. I'll miss you too. Okay, let's go. Okay. Get into the car. Okay. All right, then. Let's take care of yourself. Take care of you. Okay. Bye, Uncle Kate. Okay, show me your book. Hi, Kamala. Um, come on, please. I really need to talk to you. Come on. Sit down. All right. Tell me all about what you want to say. Um, Grandma, it's about my change of name. Yes, what about it? Um, having given it a long and hard thought, I have come to the conclusion of retaining my name, which is Hillary. I, I don't really, I don't mean to offend you, Grandma, but I think a person's worth is not determined by the name, but the strength of a character. I see. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Okay, Grandma, for example, a person might be named Valerie, but still lacks strength. Another might be named um, success, but still be a total failure. Hmm. Well, I think you have just won me over by that argument. And 
Oh, so we are sticking to Hillary, right? Um, yes, that's a deal. <laughs> Hillary, that's uh, from so henceforth. That's <laughs> very slow. Thank you so much, Gawa. So, welcome. Do we have a knuckle on it? Knock what? Knuckle. No, that's not ladylike. Okay. We shake. Okay, shake. <laughs> Whatever you say, Gawa. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gawa. You're welcome, my darling. Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, not to mention, my dear, it was my pleasure, Hilary, darling. <laughs> but now, promise me, you will come back again soon. I shall, sure definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Hilary? Did I hear Hilary? Huh? What's, um, what's going on? What um, happened to Valerie? Um, let's just say Grandma and I had an understanding. <laughs> an understanding? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> that's, that's, um, that's good to know. Well, understanding indeed. Let's just say that, um, we probably have a lawyer in the making right here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, Mother. I'll keep that in mind. Mm. Uh, Mother will have to go. Oh. We'll have to run, we'll have to beat traffic. Oh, give me a hug. <laughs> I wish God. It's too, darling. Thank you. I'll stay in touch, Mother. Okay. I'll call. I'll do take care now. Okay, yeah. I will, I will. Shall we, darling? J Jason. Yes, Mother? I'd like to see you uh, for something. Oh, okay. It's all right. Um, sweetheart, why don't you um, wait for me in the car? All right. All right. Bye, Grandma. Bye, darling. Mother, do I need to sit for this one? Oh, yes. Go ahead. Okay. Just a moment. All right. Here. I'm sure you'll like to see that for yourself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is this one? It's the result of the paternity test I had Dr. Sam carry out from the blood samples uh, he had of Hillary and yourself. I know, I know. But listen, things like this cannot just be based on God's feelings. Uh -huh. I mean, you just can't just buy it that she is your daughter. You know, you need to back these things up with evidence, by hard evidence. God's feelings have been known to fail. Well, I will stop! Please stop, all right? This is totally unnecessary. That's my child. You have no right to upset what we could. No! Oh, I have every right, Jason. I have every right, Jason. Not after I discovered that her mother is no other person than that poor, opportunistic ex girlfriend of yours. Who will put nothing past her by trying to force her bastard daughter of her? On you. Can you just stop? Please. Stop! For God's sakes! I have told you countless times, mother. You know this girl. I know her. Alright? What makes you think? Or what makes you think that Susan would lie to me about a thing like this? How? Ah. Is that so? <laughs> I see. 
I see that you two have kissed uh, uh, and, and made up. Don't tell me you've fallen for her cheap ploy and that it's working. What are you on about, mother? <laughs> what cheap ploy? Well, isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? What other motive will she have for bringing Hillary into your life at this very point in time? After she's obviously found out that you have become a widower. And now she's trying to see whether she can use the soft spot you've developed for the girl to get back into your life and manipulate you and milk you dry. Jesus, please allow me, all right? Please. As far as I'm concerned, this conversation is totally meaningless and uncalled for. Yes! But just so you know, Susan is not interested in me. Susan has moved on with her life. Susan will not use our only child as a money milking cow. You know why? Because she loves her. I will not use her for a thing like that. See if you'll excuse me, mother. I have things to do. Goodbye. We came that my grandmother's was fun after all. But sure, I am glad to be returning home. Huh? I can't help thinking about my cousin Vivian and how she's so different from Naomi and Nicholas. Cousin Vivian with her sour mood taught me that no matter how much you try, you can never be able to please some people. It's such a big pity. But I wonder why that is. Sincerely, Honduras, Hillary. Breakfast this morning is supposed to be a surprise. I'm not telling you. Ah, uh, my mom says that whenever she's making this, now I'm expecting it. I wonder why kids of nowadays don't like this. Eh? This is a very good source of protein. And you know what? The more you eat it, the taller you grow. Hmm, that's what my mom says. Shh, I don't know. It's a surprise. <laughs> then that makes your mom a very wise woman. I'll tell her you said not that. Every man knows the advantage of giving this to children. Hmm. I'll tell how you said that. You did that, child. I'm not letting think. you say this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this is? What, my child? I mean, you and Auntie Joy. Oh, not that I didn't have fun in my grandma's mom's name. You know, she made me wear girls' clothes and she even tried to change my name. But I got to meet Auntie Kate, my cousin, and men. I had so, so, so much fun. But notwithstanding, I am so glad I'm back. You know, back to my old. Oh, but my child, I also missed you so much. Okay. In fact, this house will not just the same with you away. Okay. And that is the reason I am preparing this top, sumptuous meal. Just to wake up your back home. Sumptuous meal. It was sumptuous you just tried it. Mm -hmm. Go to the dining house. Get done with this fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Um, excuse me, Mrs. Big. Yeah. Not to church. Oh, good in that. There you are. That's exciting. Mm. Mrs. Big said she prepared this very delicious breakfast to celebrate my return. Sumptuous breakfast to celebrate. Great. Interesting. Mm. All right, so why don't we just tell um, you know, go ahead and do justice to this? Why don't we tell me? Um. 
um, story I totally forgot. Good morning, Dad. Hope you slept well. I did, Dad. Just in Broadway. Yeah, surely. After you now. Oh, my God. Oh, that's your service. <laughs> Yay! Except breakfast. Okay. This looks good. Yay! Sure does. Alright. Great. Mm. Alright. Good one. Mm. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meal. We ask that you bless and sanctify in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Auntie this is really, 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 really nice. Like, it really does look good. Mm -hmm. I know. So make sure you finish it. Yes, I will. If you need another thing, you can do it. Sure. Okay. All right, go ahead. How about this? Let me see your face. Hold on. Knife is always there. I'm always. <laughs>
Hmm. No. I don't believe you. Are you sure? I'm sure. See, we're going to my dad's um, old alma mater. He wants me to do the museum there once you are doing so well. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Your daddy's old school is one of the most prestigious schools in this town. Hmm. Like, that is the school where all the high and mighty send their children. The ministers, the governors. And he who should I is not where the president of America Ah, I see the just not have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you me like um Vivian and my cousin attend the school, then I don't so look forward to going to that school. Seriously. Uh, no matter how it's like, hmm? There is this saying that goes like this. You don't judge a tree by a few rotten fruits. Hmm? Keep an open mind. Okay? Okay, I guess you're right. Yeah, you see this time around, I am right. <laughs> now, run along, don't keep your daddy waiting. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Hey, 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 young lady, where are you going? With your clothes spread around everywhere. Pick up after you, my friend. Mm. Sorry, I forgot. Bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be, in the great outdoors, forever free. Oh well, uh, you're not far from the truth. I am what you might want to call a shareholder. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I see. This school has produced great men and women, I tell you. Doctors, engineers, astute businessmen and women, pilots, you know, top medical practitioners. I'm just so proud to, to say that I am part of that history and that's why I want you here as well so that you can share in that history. Yes, Daddy. All right, the principal will be waiting, so shall we? Okay. You want to come this way, you want to go that way? <laughs> 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 Good morning, Mr. Jason. Good morning, how are you? Unexpected you. Fine, thank you. Um, I guess this is a lovely female house. Yes, this is my beautiful <laughs> daughter, <laughs> Hilary Zodalo. <laughs> Say hello. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, my dear. You're welcome to the third school. I hope you love it here. <laughs> I hope so, Mr. Jason, thank you for considering us. You're welcome. I assure you, we'll continue to maintain this family in Nova School. 
I'm not in doubt. That's why I came. Good. In that case, I'll call one of the teachers to accompany her to one of the classes. Okay. Yes, for her to write the entrance test. All right, no problem. Um, excuse me. Hello? Yes, um, Mr. Uchenna. Please come to my office and... So how has it been with um, the affairs of the school? Well, not bad. And I see a few renovations. It's, it's looking good here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Jason. Oh. Yes, you sent forms. Yes, Mr. Uchin, I did. Mr. Jason, this is Mr. Uchin. Oh, pleased to meet you. Our SS1 maths teacher. Oh, okay. He's one of the best in this part of the city. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chen, I need you to accompany the young lady to one of the SS1 classes for her to write the entrance test. Okay. Young lady, please come. Excuse me, guys. I'm quite excuse. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ms. Jason. Yes. The test will take an hour. Oh, okay. You're welcome to my office. Uh, why don't I just... Uh... Reason to town, do a few things, and then be back here in the house. So, mm. right? It's all right. But I trust that she's in the Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, for then. So much for your time. Right, I'll be back. Thank you. Too. I know you are not my child. You know what? God has blessed you with the kind of brain he gave to your daddy. Not that I think so. I know so, my dear. Now, what do I prepare for you? Evan soup or noodles? Noodles. Yeah. Please, with noodles. 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 And what I want you to just see in that food. Oh, seriously, Mrs. B. That's because you are old school. We are new school. We, we, we prefer noodles. It's tummy, tummy noodles. Anytime, anything. I'm sure I do have it here. Now I rest my face. Okay. Let me go and get something to amuse yourself. 
in two minutes, come back with us. Tell me some of this, okay? Okay, Mrs. Biggs. Um, before the two minutes, let me um go. I'm seeing that I'm going to put my biscuit. Okay. You are going to wait for your baby. You are going to sit down. Oh my God. apologize for what happened the other day. But you already did that, didn't you? But you never said apology accepted. And I think it's got something to do with your bullish attitude whenever you see me. I hope you ain't trying to insult me again. No, no, no. Come on, let's don't fight. You won't believe what happened to me that day. I just, I can't tell you now. It's girl stuff and come on. The truth is I'm not that snobbish. I'm not. Okay, okay. Apology accepted. My dad just took me to Crest High, and I'm going to get in very soon. That is if I pass the test, though. I can't believe I'm going to be in the same school my dad actually attended. I hope you make it too. Come on, Eddie. Why is that? Do you want some biscuit at least? No, thanks. Excuse me. My child. Hmm. Young Mrs. Big. I will. Make sure you finish all of them. Of course I will. Oh. Mrs. Big. That's my child. Um, why is Eddie um very unfriendly? I mean, his father, the gate man, is so nice and cheerful, unlike his son. Why do you have to say that, my child? Because I've been trying to get him to accept my apology, but he's just refusing. Are you saying that uh, Eddie refused to accept your apology? Well, he... It's not sound like him. Well, the thing is, he eventually did today, but he's still acting very unfriendly to me. I mean, we stay in the same house, we could be very wonderful friends. If only we just get off his high horse. Well, I think Eddie may not see that way, what? especially since you are a girl. Maybe he doesn't need a girl for a power now. How is that? I have so many male friends when I was staying with my mom. How is that possible? Like, we were very cool together. Not that. <laughs> not the way you got your tomboy behavior from. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Biggs, I really miss my friends. Don't worry, my dear. Very soon, you are going to make as many friends I still wouldn't have need for them all. <laughs> I hope so. You don't worry, just eat your sweet inner deals. This is really nice, Mrs. Biggs. Yeah. Well, when you promise you're going to finish every bit of it. I will, eventually. <laughs> I want you to eat. Miss Hillary, I've gotten your clothes. Oh, it's very. Thanks for washing for me. Yeah, you're welcome. You're actually answering a great today. So, tell me, how was your visit to your dad's home? Yeah, it was okay. The school compound, the uh, classrooms next to me. Of course they should be. 
Not with all the money they paid there. She told me at Joyce. Their fees are terribly expensive. Of course they are. But your dad can afford it, so. Cheer up. <laughs> it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. But uh, personally, I I hope that your dad wouldn't want you to be a brother. So I would prefer it if you're a day student. Why? Well, because the save is school is haunted at night. <laughs> oh my god, that's so easy. Don't tell me you believe those Miss Koi Koi and the Bush Baby stories. Those are still news, though. <laughs> <laughs> My head being good, eh? I don't believe in Lady Koi Koi and I don't believe in uh, Bush Baby. The ghost of your dad's alma mater is a different story altogether. Mm. Well, um, I say she's a woman, an estranged woman. She used to be a teacher in the school, but the principal sacked her without paying her her wages. So she returns every midnight to come and haunt the school. And uh, they, say, they say she goes like this. Pay me my wages. Pay me my wages. I told you stop it now. <laughs> oh my god, I knew you were going to get scared. Good night. Stay. I'll watch over you tomorrow. Don't be good, man. I'll come and watch you, I promise. I'll watch over you. Just like your guide and angel. I'll watch your night. I see you still here. Yes, my pumpkin. I give you my word, didn't I? I promised to watch over you. My dad is a man of his words. Absolutely. It's okay. You have nothing to be worried about. I'll always be here to watch over you. 
So since I have done my shift, I have watched over you all through the night. Can I get up and start my day? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, the call. Great. I hope I didn't snore. Well, you snored just, um, just a little. <laughs> It's okay, but all the same, I'm happy I was able to chase the boogie woman away. Sorry, Dad. It's okay. Good morning. Last night, I found myself in Ego's Quest High, running for my dear life. Because the spirit of a dead female star who used to haunt the school was after me. A dead female star? Mm -hmm. Come on, Dad. Don't tell me you haven't heard of the female star who committed suicide. Who's feeling you're having such a nonsense? That takes me back to my question. Who told you that you go quest high? It's something. Mm -hmm. I've totally forgotten. Maybe, well, now that I know um, that it's just one silly thing I shouldn't have listened to. Do you know your father? Yes, I do. I'm glad. I have forgotten that. You should too. It's just one silly story. Can we forget it? What was to forget? Sir? Mr. Jason? You sent for me? Yeah, that was I sent for you. Yeah, yes, sir. I want to know who told my daughter that that the school she will be attending after the holidays. If everything goes well. You said she attend school. She attend my posts. I, I'm really neck deep in trouble now, am I not? But let me just say that before you sack me, if I had known that the story would cause Hillary to have nightmare, I would not have told her. I told you my heavenly thing, I swear. I need you to watch the kind of advice you give to my daughter. It's very obvious. She's a young girl, she has very fertile imagination. Okay, sir. Do you understand? I, I do, sir. I, I didn't even know this story was a lie. But I, I promise I'll do as you say, sir. Can you leave, please? Thank you, sir. Boss, sir. People can lie. You. So nobody committed suicide. Doris, I'm busy. Get out. Thank you, sir. Dear diary, the cost exists. I really don't think so. At least not the koi koi or the bush baby. I still maintain that there are just some sort of mystical stories told to scare us children. 
just like Auntie Doris tried to do yesterday. And boy, am I so embarrassed to think how I fell for it. Gosh, what a nightmare. I must say my, my imagination went riot this time. <laughs> well, I heard when Daddy sent for Auntie Doris. I think he guessed she was the one that told me the story of Dozer College being haunted. I truly hope that Daddy doesn't fire her this time. Because I sort of like Auntie Doris very much. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed for her. Yours sincerely, fingers crossed, Hillary. How was your day? It was okay. Just a sweet worry. I know. What um shall be a thing on the past, alright? I'll really go to school and do things at school. Okay? And then speaking of school, I've got good news for you. Hey. Yeah? Tell me. <laughs> when we get inside. <laughs> I know. I know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I shouldn't know about that, you. <laughs> what? Why are you making that face? Huh? Good news. My good news. What news? I can't remember. Good news is that you're going to tell me. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, darling. I forgot. I mean, I came in with the work and then I, I think I brought some work with me as well, so oh, I can't remember you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now don't 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 look at me, don't blackmail me like that. Alright, now the thing is I got in here, mm -hmm. okay, and I got entirely carry with the work that I brought home, so forgive me. Okay. So you were saying Good news, no? The news is that we're going to stop me. <laughs> Mm, Dad, I hate when you do this. What do you do? Hmm? You can't wait till morning. Morning? Just, morning, just try. I won't sleep. Just tell me. <laughs> Alright, this is it. I got an email from the principal of my former school. Mm -hmm. This is Issa. Mm -hmm. And the email said that um, you passed your entrance examination, so you are now eligible today. Yay! Hello. I made it. I so made that's this one. Daddy is proud of you, Dad. Oh. Please, Doris. No. Hurry up with this. Eh? I'm feeling oddly tired tonight. I want to go to bed earlier. Are you sure you're not coming down with something, Mrs. Bates? What? No, please, God forbid. I made it. I find it. Great. I'm going to tell <laughs> Auntie Doris and Mrs. Bates. Go ahead, that is proud of you. My little angel, what? I passed the test with my dad's daughter. Oh my god. Wow. Yay. Such wonderful news. Thanks. Congratulations, darling. Uh, thank Congratulations, you. my daughter. You thank deserve you. it. Thank you. I can't still believe I'm going to be attending the same school as my dad. I'm glad you can't wait. I'm starting next week. Really? Yes. Yeah. I bet you be. It's going to be hot from you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I see you later. Bye. 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 B
baby will not kill me. Yeah. An interesting yeah. child. Yeah. Hold up, hold up, please. I want to dance this. I just can And can you imagine, Mrs. Big said you already knew I was going to make it. Mm, I was telling that one and you were going to make it, darling. How come everyone knew you except me? Oh, well, because we're adults and as adults we are quite knowledgeable about things like this, so we know. Adults? Mm, besides, you're your daddy's daughter, so you should be intelligent. Yeah, I think so. No. So once again, darling, congrats. Thank you, that's such a relief. School finally. Yeah, thank you, Grandma. It's not easy. Oh, okay. Finish that thing on time. You'd have to hit the bed quite early. You have an early day tomorrow, and if you want to. How so? Because also, I didn't tell you that Auntie Kate is coming here tomorrow with your cousins. The Vivian and Naomi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I get to see Naomi again. Thank God. Well, you don't talk about Vivian much, why? Because we didn't really get along the last time we met Chet Brother. Is it? Mm-hmm. What happened? I don't know. We didn't just... We just had little issues, but... Hey, maybe when we see tomorrow, we're going to work something out. I don't know. You never know. Yeah. So, um, you're like going out tomorrow for shopping and then... You are just meant to get uh, a few things in for school. Okay. And please, Hilary, can you please... Big things for girls, I beg you. Oh god, Dad, I'm going to school nuts. <laughs> when it comes so to shopping, I can't, I can't trust you, forgive me. Trust me a little bit. Teeny weeny. And this one. Sure. I yeah. promise. Mm -hmm. Someone like me we can see from low class school could be able to pass a test into so such pre prestigious upper class school as to say college. I can't wait to share the good news with mom. I am definitely going to do that first thing tomorrow. Oh! And tomorrow, I get to spend the day with Cousin Vivian. I hope she would be in a better mood. Because I have promised Dad that I would try to get along with her. And I would so hate to feel that. <sighs> Thank God Naomi is coming to do. I need to call mom. I want to share this very good news with her. Look at me. Do you know what she did? I mean, call myself. Right? See? Tell her about your admission. Yeah. Go right ahead. That's the Okay. Now do we care? Don't. I promise not to finish your head time. I trust you. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you next time. No, mom, it's not that. It's I, like. 
morning. How are you doing? Sweetheart, it's just that I miss you so much. This house, this house looks, this house feels so dry without you. Oh, I miss you too. So much, so, so much. But guess what? I just passed my entrance exam into that old secondary school. Really? Yeah, the name of the school is Eagles Quest High, and it's one of the best schools in the state. So I heard. Oh, baby, that's that news. That's that's the best news today. Okay, I'm so happy for you. Congrats. I'm so proud of you, baby. Mwah, mwah, mwah. That's for being a brilliant girl. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, oh, you know what? Um, um, I, I don't want you to finish that. It's Friday. Okay. Don't worry. I'll call you to find out how things go. Be a good girl, Hilary. Remember, I will always love you. Okay, baby. Bye. 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 I wish you were here. Love it. Love it. Yes, sir. You didn't hear me first time. Sorry, sir, I was in the kitchen. Alright, so my sister will come here with her kids to come and take Hilary with them somewhere. But while they're here, we do to ensure that they're happy. Right? To make them comfortable and ensure that uh, they eat what they want. Yeah. Okay? Alright, we can go. Would there be any other things, sir? No, I, but I can think of right now. If there is alcohol. You are trying to see us now. Hold on. Here's your phone. You don't have my phone? Yes, I am. Uh... Alright, so how's mom doing? She's fine. Great. Um, you know, why don't I just go ahead and get you a phone? Yeah, I mean, if that's the way you, um, you can call your mom as frequently as you want. Oh, without having so... to depend on me. Mm, that would be so cool then. Alright, I'll do so. In the meantime, I spoke with Doris. I told her that um, your cousins will be here. So when you come here, be nice. Alright, and show that you're very comfortable. As I trust you to run the affairs of this house, even in my absence. Yeah, you got it, Dad. All right. Take care. Daddy has to run. All right. Take care of you now. All right. All right. To my dad's old alma mater. Of course, Valeria. Well, Living a bright. And that is why we're getting the digital that with me. So, I suppose you can do things like know that. Come here. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, a beautiful news. And I hope they're going to put us in the same class. I mean, it will be so perfect. Well, that's a matter of opinion now. So speak for yourself. Mrs. Kate, good afternoon. Hello, Mr. Sal. Very well, thank you, Andy. And I want to come here with the girls. I have some refreshment prepared and waiting for you. Sure, why not? You are showing me? Yes, mom. Yes. Come on, yes. guys. Stop. 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 You don't have to keep calling me Valerie. My real name is Hilary, so I would rather you keep calling me Hilary. Are you serious? But why? Oh, well, let's just say Grandma Cecilia thought Valerie was perfect for me. And, um, but I told her I would rather keep bearing Hilary. Are you serious? You really told me? I sure did, but you know what? I was practically shaking in my shoes when I did. Yeah. But you were brave all the same. Mom, did you hear that? Valerie said, oh, I'm sorry, Hilary. <laughs> Hilary said she no longer answers Valerie reasons because she told Grandma Cecilia that she prefers answering her given name Hilary. 
you do you? I do. Wow, that's very bold and decisive of you. So tell me, what did your mom say about that? Well, she said since I had convincing argument, she was okay with it. <laughs> really? Okay then, congratulations again. Thank you, Auntie Kate. Well, this is being very courageous. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Kate. I wonder why someone would discard a beautiful name such as Valerie for something as okay as Hillary. No, 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 Vivian. Right now, you're wrong. Listen, it's not about the beauty of the game, but a matter of choice. Okay? So, girls, I can only refresh my Yeah, Yes, Mr. Kate, okay. let's just do all of this and chill. Okay, then. Please, can you just lovely. finish up with your drinks so I will drop it? From the way your cousin. Oh my god, this shoe like, first. Can I have the shoe, please? Can I have the shoe? Thank you. Can I get your hands? Oh, like this. Triangle. Open it. Again. Again. You must struggle with your cousin. Thank you. Can I have any other shoe inside as well?
Good idea, right? You like it, right? Yeah. Thanks, Auntie Kate. Please hurry, my love. You know you're a good girl, right? You did, right? Yes, Auntie Kate. You know you can do what I don't want. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Okay. 
Take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. You're leaving already? Oh. Don't worry, I'll see you soon. Alright then. Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Oh. Oh. One more thing. I believe Naomi was right in her observation. That Vivian's problem is that she's jealous of me. Jealousy is a very bad feeling, Mom always says. It can make one do stupid things, just like Vivian did today. And it can also turn a person to become bitter or as sour as a vinegar. <laughs> Just like my cousin, Vinegar Vivian. Well, I'm sorry that I couldn't keep the promise I made to Dad to, to try to get along with cousin Vivian. But you know what? I will try harder next time. Good night, Diary. Yours sincerely tired, so tired, you know. Dear diary, it's my first day in school today. I didn't want to wake up late. So I, I set an alarm on my phone. I I even asked Mrs. Bates to wake me. She said she she has an internal alarm set in her bed. What a funny expression. Excitement will soon fizzle out. Two terms, two months. What is it? What is it? What is it this time? No, 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 no. I was just talking to myself. Sorry, sir. Do you keep it to yourself? I will, sir. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Where's my daughter? She just is. Morning, 
Good morning, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. I'm all ready to go. Where? To school. Oh, you're going to school? Yes. Where? Oh, you're going to school? Where? 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 My stomach is filled with butterflies. It's been the first day at school. So maybe I'll just go and tell Dad that I'm ready to go. Oh no, my child. You're not going anywhere without your breakfast. Hmm. Oh, haven't you heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Okay. So you sit right down here while I go and get your breakfast. Come and sit down. Okay. You don't have to squeeze your face. I'll get your breakfast now. Okay. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I give you the key. I'll wait for him to come. <laughs> yeah, that's good news. <laughs> Car open. Good morning, Mr. Jason. Oh God, Dad. But I'm nervous. Is this showing? <laughs> no, it's not. You'll be fine. Uh, besides, I took the day off to be your personal driver. All right? To give me the much needed moral support. So tell me it's working by the back. Uh, it's working, all right? It's working. Um, but I have to go now. It's okay. Um, go in there, have fun. In school, I can assure you that your classmates, I can see them smiling and chatting. They'll be very friendly. Okay. You'll be good. All right, Daddy, so I'll see you after school. I will be here to pick you up, my princess, after school. All right, Dad. So see you later. <laughs>
response. What happened, cousin? I was thinking that she would ask the principal to give you the uniform instead of this. Seems you so much like looking and behaving like a boy, I mean. Because it's obvious that even in skirts and socks, she's still not going to look like us. <laughs> you mean curved in the right places? Yeah, you got me, girl. Okay, 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 girls. Let me officially welcome you to the Zek College, where you will be out of your league. You're so right, Vivian. People from the slums don't last long here. Because you repaint a slum, too sharp a slum, a slum will always remain a slum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my. What are you doing here? Naomi, boy, am I so glad to see you. And along comes Angel Naomi to the rescue. Oh, my God. Um, here, come on, let's go and see your class. Right. Thank you. Did you see that? <laughs> Wait for me, girls. And here we are finally. This is the SS blog, and guess what? I'm here too. Yay! <laughs> but so is Vivian and her two followers, Jean and Mimi. Oh god, I can't believe that. But you know what? I am not scared of bullies. <laughs> Are you serious? I love that. Don't worry, come, let's enter inside. I heard the principal is coming to address us. Really? Yeah. I hope I'm not late. Morning, students. Mr. Ikenga is my name. I once more welcome you all in the new academic session, 2015-2016 academic session. And I want to inform you, it is no more what you used to know. GS3 is not like SS1. This is where choice of career starts. So I am going to provide you all with a form where you are going to fill in the subjects. We have provided you with subjects, elective subjects, and that of compulsory ones you are going to combine. And when you must have made a decision with your parents, I'll be expecting you all to submit them in my office for onward um, verification and vetting. So while I give you your own form, you go make your decision, and I will be expecting you all back. I can see that you're busy trying to choose a subject. Yeah. Yes, we have. No, I'm just confused. Yes, Vivian, please have your seat. Slum girl, are you having difficulties reading what is written in the elective lists? <laughs> Obviously, Vivian, it's not written in pidgin English, <laughs> is it? <laughs> Seriously, girls, don't you have something more important to hey, do? Hey, you girl, mind how you talk to my friends, okay? Then you call them off. Seriously, Vivian, this is not getting funny. What is wrong with you girls? Excuse me? And um, who is this one? Call me a not bush girl, or should I call you Madam Protector? I don't want to see you taking the same subject that you're going to say. Yeah, because if we find you in any of our classes, we're going to make your life a living hair. And who do you think you are to tell her that kind of thing? Obviously, oh, she's the principal. No, no, no. The, the head, head teacher. teacher. <laughs> oh, no. The head bitch. Did you hear In that? Charge. I am so sorry, Vivian. But sing, I am not a witch. How would I know what subject your royal highnesses are going to choose? And even if I do, there's no possible way I would prevent being in the same class as the three of you. And just so you know, I am not going to be intimidated by the three of you in this yeah. school. So watch it seriously and out of my way.
Yes, today we are going to talk about on the formula I called Bodmas. It's a formula that helps us to um, solve mathematical problems. And um, before I go on, since it's a new topic, I would like somebody here who understands what Bodmas is to tell the whole class. So if you know what Bodmas is, please could you signify by raising up your hand? Anybody in the class? Do you want to? Okay, fine. Jasper, please tell the class. Beautiful. Please clap for him. <laughs> All right. Now, please get your pen and your paper ready as I write on the board. Um, yes, as Jasper said, B means bracket. As I write, you write. And um, O means off. And D means division. And M goes for multiplication. And A. What's going on? Is everything okay, Hilary? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. You see, I, I had thought I was being pressed by a fly, but I just found out it was a human pressed after. But I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 please, please. Just stop this drama and concentrate, okay? Now, let's go back to our work. As I was saying, and um, A, I'm sure you're all writing. Yeah, A is addition. Hello, class. Hello. Um, during our last class, we talked about adverbs. Remember? Yes. And today we're going to talk about adverbial phrases. Adverbial phrases. Okay, um, in your junior secondary, I guess you used to the different parts of speech, right? Yeah. And now you are in the senior secondary. That is why we're taking you a step higher. That is to say, launching you into the adverbial phrases or in the phrase class. So it won't be adverbs as usual. Now we're going to do go forward and talk about adverbial phrases. Now let me take your minds back. What are adverbs? Vivian. Please, what are adverbs? Yes, please. They are those verbs that are used in advertising. Hello? <laughs> Vivian, are you okay? Adverbs, as in the part of speech, I'm talking about advertisement. Could you please sit down? Mimi, what are adverbs? Adverbs. <coughs> An adverb is when you add one verb to another verb, it gives you an adverb. <laughs> I didn't say verb squared, if there's anything like that. I mean adverb as in a part of speech. Holy Mary. Are you in this class? Yes, Hilary. What is an adverb? Adverbs are words that modify adjectives, verbs, and their fellow adverbs. Beautiful. Could you give her a round of applause? <laughs> Vivian, did you hear that? Mimi, did you hear her as well? You're sure? Good. So adverbs are those words that modify a verb, an adjective, and fellow adverbs. I know you already know that. Hmm? I know you already know that. Those words that modify a verb, as in running slowly, modify an adjective, as in quite brilliant, and modify fellow adverbs, as in very hard. 
Is that understood? Yes. Now, having gotten that, we can now go over to the smart and cool. She doesn't even do as if we are talking to her. Don't mind that stupid girl. She has the guts to call me a human first and I will show her for that. And you don't go about saying she's a cool girl because she's not. <laughs> anyway, that's how you right. I sort of like her, the way she talks, but I don't know why Vivian wants us to be mean to her. What? You don't let Vivian hear you say that. Don't let Vivian hear what. I was just telling Mimi about how we should get rid of your sister Naomi and that new girl. Oh no, Gina. Don't you ever talk about my sister like that. Leave my sister out of this. Do you understand me? Naomi can go ahead and support Hillary all she likes. The person you two have my permission to kick as you like is that imposter Hillary. But Vivian, I don't know why you want to get rid of that girl so easily. But she seems nice. Simeon, that is none of your business. Did you hear me? It's none of your business. Listen, if you two want to continue being my friends, then you have to do just as I have said. All right, Make Mama, that Vivian. Hillary stay in the school so miserable that she's going to end up asking my uncle to change school for her. Simple. Calm down, Vivian. Calm down, Vivian. Don't worry. But remember, she called me a human first. Oh, well, that is what the two of you are becoming with all those questions. What is the matter with you? I don't even know. What of you are someone to ask me? But not that girl is not a cool girl. I must deal with her. She called me a human first. That was even for business. Leave me alone. I know that the girl is cool as smart. Where's Naomi? Hello. Hello. I'm alright. Bye. Bye. Are you girls ready to go now? Yes, Senor Nicholas, we are. Naomi, behave yourself or else I'll sign you some real punishments. Wait until you get the post. Until then, your post is not yet official. See, that, that's what you people keep thinking. That's what you keep thinking. <laughs> Excuse me, Hillary here, what's up? Oh, I'm fine. Wow, your first day at school. I hope you did enjoy your first day at school. Yeah, all thanks to Naomi here. She really helped yeah. me. While on the other hand, Vivian is trying her best to discomfort Hillary with the help of her followers, Gina and me. Can you stop, Naomi? Stop oh. talking about me when I'm not there. What happened to Hillary wasn't my fault. It was Gina's and Mimi's, okay? Okay. See, see, I, I hope this is not true. I hope this is not true because if it's true, I bet you I'm going to get you reported tomorrow. There's no use, Nicola. There's no use. I don't want her to get into trouble because of me. So you shouldn't just bother reporting me. <laughs> Aren't you two good Samaritans? Well, I hope you will follow your wonderful human home. Because if you don't, do not expect me to talk to you when we get back home. When are you going to change Vivian? Not oh, girl. What is it? Excuse. Don't push me now. Don't push me. Get up. Go, please. Move, let's start going. I don't know what's wrong with you. Hello, Vivian. How are you? How are Hello, you? Dad. I'm fine. Good afternoon, Officer. Good afternoon. Yeah. Hey, you're here too. <laughs> I can't believe you came to pick me up after school. I don't you have something to do in office? Yes, I had work to do at the office, but then I remembered quickly that um, I had promised to be a chef. Yeah, yeah. You pick you up. Oh, I just so love my dad. Even my like so much. <laughs> Jason, I'm sure Hilary will tell you how we welcome her into his I mean, 
Naomi and I may have been so much at home as they should be long in our class. Right, Naomi? Yes. Is that so? Yes, I'm okay. uh, Thank you so much. Thank you for bringing You're welcome, I'm Well, it's kind of easy. It's nice to meet you, but I'm being almost the same. Okay. Okay. All right, Nick. Say hi to all of has for us for dinner. And that me out. Oh well, something like that. It's it's called tact in English language. Like, a very tactful way of telling you to are not still behaving rudely towards him. No, no, no. Naomi and Nicholas were very nice and welcoming. But you see, the term nice and welcoming doesn't fit Vivian at all. What? Don't tell me that Vivian is still behaving poorly towards you. Who are you, Mrs. Biggs? You can never get along with everyone. Well, you know she's your blood sister. I know. I just pray that one day both of us are going to become friends eventually. Obviously, you have to be nice and cautious towards her because I've never seen a kid that works better than her. Oh, I don't know why we should go. Hmm. You want me to give you? Hmm? Have you washed your hands? I'm sorry, don't put your. Good to see you again. Tell me 
a suggestion. Mm. So this is where the religion came out from. So it. All right. Let's wake up now. Let's go and drop your school bag. I can't believe you see me back. <laughs> How are you doing? Alright, um, please, as I give you, you start walking. Share with your sister. This two here. You can start immediately. with your sister. Vivian Benson, I want to see you in my office right away. office. I didn't really get the math formula he taught us today in class. Okay. Um, Hilary, did you notice how Vivian acted in the class today when Mr. Uchene asked her to come and see him in the office? Do you think my sister has gotten herself into trouble? I can't really say I noticed, but hey, I'm sure it's nothing. I know Vivian should know better, right? Yeah, sure. See you later. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. your mom know that um, I helped you with Espo during your last junior work. At least she won't find out that the good result you have isn't from your brain. Oh, please, sir. Please don't tell my mom about the Espo, please. My mom is going to be so disappointed in me if she ever finds out, please. Okay, oh. all right. It is well. I will not tell her. All right? So you really have to cooperate with me. Because your mom, if she finds out, she'll be so disappointed. And she might even end up hating you as well. So don't worry, I will not let her know. But you have to promise me to be a good girl and I will help you keep your secrets. And you yourself can keep the secret for me as well. Okay? It won't hurt you. Yeah? It won't hurt you. Don't worry. I am here for you. Don't worry. It is um, um, okay, um, like I was saying, did you, did you get the formula I just told yes, you? Sir. 
Okay, fine. So you have to use it and solve that thing. No problem. Excuse me, sir. I'll text you for this. Okay, fine. Fine. Be good. So, um, how may I help you, Miss Oh, sorry, sir. I, I didn't really understand the formula you taught in class. Oh, yes. So that means you weren't listening to me while I was teaching. No, 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 no. It's not that. Uh, exactly. That was what I was telling Gideon as well. You guys are so serious. So while I'm teaching, you guys are not paying attention. Okay. Where exactly do you want me to talk about? Is it the B, the O, the D, the N, the S? What? Vivian, are you alright? Yeah. What sort of question is that? I mean, why would I be alright? Come on, Vivian. Are there not tears in your eyes? Okay, okay, okay. I think I know what your problem is. Miss Tutena plugged you, right? Is that it? What have you done this time? Nothing now, Miss. So leave me the hell alone. Oh, well, there you are, Vivian. Vivian and I have been looking for you. What? Aren't you going to the drama class? She's not going. Well, now that you have found me, so let's go. Vivian, I'm not yet done talking. I'm talking to you, Vivian. Excuse me. How are you doing? I'm fine. Um, were you able to understand the method? Yeah, I I think I think so. Um, uh, um Naomi, yeah. where is Vivian? She went for the drama class with Gina and Mimi. Oh, oh, she did, of course. Is there any problem? No, no, just. I'm just concerned about her. Recess, finally. Oh, God. I'm so, so hungry. Come on, let's go to the school canteen and eat. love food too much. <laughs> Let me get my... I brought my food, don't forget, Naomi. I know. You All can right. eat it there while I eat the one I paid for. All right. Come on, what do you Make it snap. Let's go already. Okay. It's a look. <laughs> oh, you like food more than... Are you looking for where to sit? Come and join us. Right. I'm with Naomi. Oh, Naomi can as well fit in with us. Right? Right. Don't worry, sis. My friends don't bite. Even if they do, I would never, ever allow them to bite my own sister. Right, girls? Wait a minute. I just don't believe this. Seriously, Vivian. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. I don't believe this. Cross your heart. I cross my heart. Vivian is right, Naomi. You see, Mimi and I were very mean to you on your first day in school. Serious? And we want to apologize. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't understand this. Are you guys serious? Wait, this is getting crazy. <laughs> wow. Well, Mimi and Gina, you guys have just knocked my cousin speechless with that apology. <sighs> okay, okay, but I also think you need to apologize to Hillary, don't you think? What? Not on your life, Naomi. I mean, Vivi doesn't apologize. <sighs> Whatever. Hillary, don't mind Vivian. I and Gina begin to you ran the old school as a way of making it up to you. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, Hillary. I hope you will like that. We are going to take you around the whole school immediately after the school closes. Take me on top? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I don't know, but um, I'll think about it. Uh, my darling, take your time. Mm? Yeah. I feel so relieved right now. It's just like a bit of my instead of my shoulder. <laughs> just because you've made peace with us. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Larry, you can order for anything. The bail is on me. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I want to go. Don't worry. Okay, I already have Okay. Some. You can take anything. Uh -oh. I'll pay for it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah.
sorry. Oh, how long is it left for them to see right now? Now? Yeah. Well, I don't know, school isn't over yet. I need to use the restroom. But school will soon be over and everybody will need to go home. Me, me, me. Maybe we should stop her in the light in the car. She probably doesn't want to hang out with us. Ah, uh, well, come on, Gina. No, you don't possibly do that, do you? Oh, now then, the school is officially over. So, Charu, um, well, we have to be quick about it because I don't want to keep our driver, Mr. Rodriguez. Um, do you know that our school entrance was closed after our fire? Really? Yes, we'll show sure you. The only thing you need to do is to be afraid of the ghost that said haunt this hallway. A ghost? Yeah. Haunt this hallway. Yeah. Seriously. I don't believe in ghosts. Really? Uh-huh. Well, this place still looks. Mimi and Gina! Come on, you just can't do this now. Oh, hi. Mimi! Mimi! Please, I, I know you can hear me. Please open the door for me. I beg you. Today. It was fine. Have you seen your cousin Hillary? Hillary. Is she still busy with lesson? Hillary? Yes. I thought she left already. I mean, we didn't see her after school. How can that be? I've been here for more than 20 minutes. I didn't see her come by. 20 minutes. What are you talking about? Hillary doesn't even know her way back home yet. Yes, of course. Where will she be? Oh, Uncle Obi, I think I heard Vivian's friends inviting Hilary on a tour around the school. I think we should ask them. Please. Are you sure? Okay. Are you sure? Well, of course. But since these are friends, I think we should ask them. Of course. Yes. Hey, Gina. Hi, now. Did you see Hilary by any chance? No. No. Are you serious? I thought you guys were supposed to go on a tour around the school. Mm -hmm. Oh, how about that? Hilary later refused to go around the school with us. Said she wanted to take a bus. What are you talking about? 
I don't believe that. But how could Hillary do such a thing? I don't know. Anyway, you guys are going with the school bus, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll go in my car. Are you sure you girls yeah. did not see Hillary? Yes, I'll do so. Well, she was supposed to go out with you girls. But we didn't see her. Come on, let's go. I went to school to pick her up. I was told by her cousins that she left school for home all alone. What? That girl will never learn, will she? I don't understand why she insists on remaining a poor man's child instead of embracing her new status as a billionaire's daughter. Obi, that is not the point. The point here is, what if the poor girl gets lost? I don't know. Where on earth do we start to look for her? What do we do? I think I have to go to the office and, and inform her father. Please go and tell Mr. Jensen about it. Let's go and let him know about it. I'm back, sir. Yes, you're back. But what took you so long? The instruction was simple, wasn't it? Go to my daughter's school, pick her up, take her home, come back here and get me. Why did you take so long? Yes, sir. Um, there's a problem, sir. There's a problem? It's about Miss Hillary. I, I got to her school to pick her up. I met her cousins. They told me that Miss Hillary left by herself. She wanted to see if she could get home without the help of the driver. She what? I thought what happened? The, the problem, sir, is that Miss Hilary has not gone to me yet. I've gone through all the routes she, she could take to get home. I, I couldn't see anyone that looks like Miss Hilary, sir. My goodness. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, God. I'm sorry, sir. It's okay. No, no, no. No. You're not for real. You just have to be better than that. Don't you? Yes, yes. Oh, no! No, please help me! 
Hilary has not returned home from school. No, she hasn't. And I have no kind of information as to her whereabouts. What do I do? Kate, you know I'm at my wit's end right now. I'm so confused. Go to the police. What do you think I should go to the At least make a report. It won't be wise for me to just stand here for 24 hours now, would it? I think you should do that and uh, maybe I should come with you. No, 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 it's okay. You have those kids to look after. I'll just um, go to the police station and then fill you in or whatever information I can come up with. All right? Okay. Are you sure? Yes, I'll Okay. You just put some of the feedback. back. Uncle Jason. Yeah? Uncle Jason. I, I think you should go back to the school and look for Hillary there. The school? Why the school? I've been there before. I, I have the strong feelings that Hillary may not have left the school. What are you talking about? You know, they have this abandoned section in the school that is no longer in use. Yes, I know of that um, part of the school that was um, closed down because of some fire outbreak some time ago. Right? Yeah, that, is that the part yes, you're talking about? Yes. We know they are... There are some bullies in the school that sometimes they on to expressing new students to that part of the building and lock them up there. And I sort of hear someone telling Hillary that she would like to take her on the floor to that part of the building. This is some of them trying to see Uncle Jason. I understand you. All right, thank you. I'll just, I'll go to the school right away. Thank you. Thank you. Hobby. Move. Can I drive in? I'm looking for my daughter. Uh, sir, the school, the school has closed. Oh, well, I have information that my daughter is being locked up somewhere. Can I, can I just go in and, and, and check myself? Sir, there's no place where anybody is being locked up. Uh, well, young man, I'm not going to sit here and have this argument with you. Okay, okay sir, if you insist. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.
Listen, Jill, Yeah, she passed here. Yeah. She What? She passed here. When? When? Just a few minutes ago. Which way? Left? That way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, who is that? 
Hello, Miss Hillary. Wish you wakey. Breakfast time. Good morning, Auntie Doris. How are you? I'm fine. I'm sure you want to hear everything that happened. What? What I can't understand is how you would allow those bullies in your school to outsmart you. Back in the days when I was in school, Suppose I was as smart as them. Mm. Every single one of them. And I could guess their every move before they make it. And I'll turn the table around on them. True to them, I have no good. I'll turn the table around on them. You know what they used to call me? The little imp. <laughs> I can imagine that it does. Tell me. How did it happen? Yeah, you can go ahead, please. I, I'm surprised that uh, you know, we didn't come down for breakfast. What's the problem? What's up? The poor girl had a scar of her life yesterday, so she deserves to rest. Yeah, that's true. I, I remember. Even though I've sent uh, Boris with a tray of breakfast to go and check up on her. All right, thank you so much. That was quite um, thoughtful of you. Yes, sir. I'm just doing my job, sir. Sir, I'm doing my job, sir. Yes. I hope you're going to do something about those children that have a little bullied yesterday. Those such children shouldn't be allowed to get away with their actions. No, it's okay, Mrs. B. It's, it's under control. I will be going to um, Hillary School today. I'll ensure that the culprits get a proper dress down. So it's, it's under control. You will not just pass Thank you. You know what is becoming of these children of nowadays. <laughs> um, tell my daughter. To get ready, I'll be going to have school. I will be just sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Hey, you poor thing. I'm so sorry about the frightening imprisonment that you have to pass with you. But I hope you have learned your lesson that it is not everybody that you should trust. Now come to think of it. It's not everybody that wears a smile on your face that has good intention. Her heart. I have Auntie Doris. I show her. Hey. How are you, Miss Clary? I'm fine, Mrs. Briggs. I hope you're better now. Your father sent me to tell you to hurry and get good. The both of you are going to visit this What? Oh, no. Well, I know you won't want to go back to this house after what they did to you. But you see, my child, you don't have to run in fear. You have to go back with your head held high and show them that you are strong and cannot be defeated. My father, yes, Miss Hillary, Mrs. Biggs is right. All right, then, I will need to get you ready. You know this, Ma, don't keep her talking for too long. You know that I just miss you. No problem, ma. I don't want to go at the door. I don't want to go back to that school. Why? I'm scared. Scared? Scared of what? Those bullies? Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're being really bad. Don't do that. It's not that I'm being really bad at the door. It's just that... I saw something. I saw something when they locked me up. Really? What did you for? A ghost. I saw I saw a girl. She was dressed in an old school uniform and she had she had dried blood all over her. She she even spoke she spoke with me. Don't go, Santa Doris. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Hilary, you think you got me here, right? <laughs> you thought I was actually going to walk around. No, I didn't. Miss me, seriously. 
I'm sure of what I saw. Of course you know I don't believe you. Come to think of it, how am I ever supposed to believe that? Sweetheart, stop always your fast food thinking and get right in there. That is what you talk Very true. I'm so sorry, Mr. Jason. I'm so sorry, Mr. Jason. It was all Vivian's idea. What did you say? It was all my idea. Yes, sir. It's um, Vivian who came up with the plan to lock up Ina in the abandoned wing of the school. Because she said it's a way of dealing with her. How could you? Vivian, how on earth were you able to muster up that kind of idea? Do you realize that this is your cousin? Do you know that she's like a sister to you? Uh, I'm so sorry, Uncle Jason. I, I didn't mean to. Will you shut up your mouth then, Vivian? So you were amongst the sets of students that wants to bring the name of the third school to disrepute. I'll use the three of you to set an example. You will be facing some punishment and then go on three weeks suspension. Principal, oh, please. Principal, please, no. You cannot suspend me. My mother will kill me. No. Uh, my mother will kill me. Please suspend me, please. I've never been this disappointed in you, Vivian. I'm so sorry, Uncle Jason. Shut up! I'm so disappointed. I'm so sorry, Uncle Jason. To think that someone with the kind of heart that you have is related to me. I am heartbroken. I'm so sorry. Why? You stupid spoiled brats. Great God that Mr. Jason does not withdraw his daughter from the school and also his benevolence. Else! You shall see. The other side of me. Now, get out of my Get out! Oh, you stupid, silly, spoiled brat. Ow! Please don't allow the police to suspend Vivian and her friends. Why? I'm asking you to tell me why what Vivian and her friends did to you was bad and they deserve to be punished for me. So why would you want me to go to the principal's office and then ask her not to punish them? What are you talking about? Well, the thing is, suspending them is not going to be the best solution. After suspending them, when they come back to school, they're still going to hate me the more. They won't, even, they won't be kind. But please, just talk to her, please. Please, you have to do something, Dad. That's not the best solution. Please, Dad. Suspended here. When you went to beg your uncle to beg the principal for yourself, did you beg for us? No. You're not coming to your head and be suspended for can I beg excuse me? Vivian, you're so selfish. So long allow you talk me into treating Eli so badly. Well, you did, madam. I guess that makes you a fool. What? Hey! Hey! What's up? Hey! 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 Are you crazy? What? What? Did you get 
too. But uh, it's such a big mess. My parents are going to kill me. Including me. Shut up. Three weeks Shut of special. I mean, three oh. weeks. Just chill, okay? Chill. My dad is in the principal office already talking to her. Are you serious? Hopefully, the suspension will be lifted. You guys don't need to fight about this. No. You need to talk Uncle Jason about it. I love you. It's okay, it's okay. Shut up your mouth. Excuse me, as I do. You can't mean what you just said. Yes, Mrs. Isan, I mean everything that I have said. I want you to desist from suspending my niece, Vivian, and her friends for the things that they have done to my daughter. Let it go. Mr. Jason, you is your niece. Those girls deserve to be punished. Yes, Mrs. Isong, I totally agree with you. Those girls deserve to be punished because what they have done is not, um, is not something that speaks well of them and the family, the families that they represent. But I'd also have you know that I think that. Um, a suspension would be rather too extreme on this matter, don't you think? And I would also have you know that I'm not saying this because my niece Vivian is involved. No, I just feel that it's the right thing to do. Punish them, all right? Um, you are the hands of affairs here, so punish them. But you know, some other form of punishment, but don't send them home. They need to be in school. Why did I be asked? Oh well, like my daughter explained to me. If you go ahead with um, the decision to send them on suspension, um, the atmosphere in school won't be quite conducive for my daughter Hilary when these girls return. Because um, seeing her will be a constant reminder that she's the reason they were sent home in the first place. And um, you and I, as adults, know what kind of hatred that can breed. And if you ask me, I think she makes a lot of sense. I, I am not quite sure if you get my point, Mrs. Kisong. You see, my daughter's continuous stay in the school is solely dependent on the decision you take today on whether or not to suspend my niece and her friends. You girls should thank the stars that Mr. Jason Ibudalo had a change of heart and pleaded on your behalf. You. I can't imagine what you were thinking to have played such a prank on your cousin. Apparently, you were ready have an evil heart at such a young age. God have mercy on you. God have mercy on you all. You children already have deserved seats in hell. Don't you know bullies rot in hell? You might have gotten up easily this time. But be very careful. I am watching each and every one of you. Next time! Do you understand? Do you understand? Now for your punishment. Three of you will wash the toilet for one week. And they have to be squeaky clean. Do I make myself clear? Oh yeah. Get out. Before I start to dry my bear. Well, well. 
the mighty have fallen. Imagine the almighty man cleaning up the school mess. How long can that be on one skin? Hmm. But oh Doro, this has them right. The arrogance of getting out of hand. I'll judge just up to that if you're also being suspended from the market. You're right. That could have just tripped me off to the bits. Make way. Hey. Oh, yeah. And where do you think you're going to? Oh, can't you see that we're still playing now? Are you blind? Did I get something to say something? Excuse me. Exactly. I'm so sorry, sir. I forgot. You forgot your math assignment? For God's sake, what kind of a student does that make you, Vivian? You're so serious. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm really sorry. Oh. I can see you're not just an unserious student. You're a very bad student as well. Very bad. Considering the trick that you just played with your cousin Mina. You see, people don't like bad girls anymore, not even their parents. Okay? So, you just have to react. I, I promise you, Mr. Mchenda, I will love you in spite of your pain. Alright? It's okay. What do you think you're doing here? I... I was just... Oh. Were you trying to revisit the place of your imprisonment? Mm. What? Do you feel like being locked up again? Mm. I can oblige you, you know, Hillary. I was just... You're correct. This should be the last place I should... Oh, really? I have not seen you take any steps. Or make any effort to go. Beat it now, Hillary! Sorry. Hey, Vivian. You're all by yourself. Vivian. What if you're friend? Vivian. Who's wrong? Vivian, talk to me. Okay, tell me first, Vivian. Why 
Why did Mr. Chenna invite you to his office the second time? Hope you've not gotten yourself into trouble. Because that's what I'm thinking. She's not talking to me. Mm -hmm. Believe me, you're getting me worried with your silence. Vivian, say something. Are you alive? Oh my God, Naomi. Yes. Oh my God. Guess what I just encountered? Who? Principal Song. But a very ferocious version of her. You needed to have seen the way she glared at me when, when she saw me going to the building where I was locked up. What? Are you crazy? You mean you went back to that building? What is wrong with you? It was nothing but curiosity. But seriously, I think that woman has a very scary side of her. <laughs> you can't say that. Because she scolded you for going to that part of the building which is unsafe for you. In my opinion, I think she was mad at you. Believe me. Uh, okay, maybe you're right, but hey. What is wrong with Vivian? I don't know. She has been like this ever since she came back from Mr. Chenna's office. I think she's still very afraid of the germs and the infections crawling over her. Maybe when she gets home, she will have a bath and she'll feel better. Yeah, I guess you're right. Ah, Naomi. Hilary, Vivian. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Hello, Uncle B. Hey, good afternoon. How are you? I'm alright. Oh, it's good today. It's very okay. Hi, Mr. Hi. Hi. Hello, Miss Hillary. How are you? I'm fine. Are we ready to go? Yes, sure. Thank you. Okay, so shall we? Okay. Right. Uh, are you guys to my uncle? Yeah. All right, Naomi. Right. Bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. The car is outside, right? So, Vivian, tell me, how was the experience of cleaning other people's poop like? I hope you really had fun. You had real fun. That's true now. Talk to them, Vivian. Believe me, she has been teasing through an audio. Please. Just I'm not teasing her. Uh, please, next time you know better than to treat all the people that way. <laughs> Won't you, Vivian? Get out, Nicholas. <laughs> that was real. You really had it. Excuse me. Oh, Woo. Hope you enjoyed. Let's go, please. Let's get in late. I didn't hear you coming. Um, Mr. Obi dropped me, um, but I've been in my room since then. Oh. Your father told me what a noble thing you did by speaking up for your cousin Vivian and her friends not to be suspended from school. That was so nice of you. Come on, Mrs. B. Why should I let them get suspended when I've already forgiven them? Oh. Um, Vivian even said she would have preferred being suspended than being told to wash the school toilet. Can you imagine that? Really? We both know that your cousin Vivian never appreciates anything. Hmm. I think cleaning the filth in the toilet will help clean up some of our bad character. Watch is that it? <laughs> this is big. I don't think that therapy is going to be effective in Vivian's life. I'm very sure of that. Oh, Only God then can save her. Please let me go to the kitchen. This is big. I'll be up to Okay, then. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see from up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. 